problem. Hey, fella, what do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? Uh, I'd pet it. I like dogs. Seems you're in the wrong place, buddy. <laughs>
This stain's almost gone. I can't imagine it ended well for whoever lost all this blood. Marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. This garbage. Papa Brute will be here any minute. I don't know about you, but I'm not keen on dying right now, kid. Maybe we can talk it out. Who are you, and what the drock do you want? Shut up. I'm the one asking the questions here. So you, listen to me, or my pistol will do the talking. Your choice. Cool it, kid. We both know that if you were gonna kill me, you'd have already done it. So, what do you want from me? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, it won't be cheap. You're in no position to negotiate. <laughs> Wrong, kid. We both know I'm the only one who can get people out of this board. You kill me, and you get nothing. The fact that you're here means you're smart enough to be useful. Let's make a deal. You do one job for me, and I'll take care of your request. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home Made me think I had a screw loose. And? What did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face. And walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. What was your last memory before the crematorium? 
I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manor. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? It must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. I got it. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business, but he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. Funny thing. I found a dead woman in your basement. Now, I don't suppose you had your men kill her. Quiet, you! You're scaring Mary. Look, she didn't die by my order, kid. Take my word for it. And the guilty have already been severely punished. Look, I have my shortcomings, but I don't hurt women or kids. Goodbye. Hey, what's your business, kid? I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brood hadn't put you off limits. I can't imagine it ended well for whoever lost all this blood. The blood dried not too long ago.
Good day to you, kind sir. I hope that angels will be more merciful to you than they were with me. Oh, poor me. Did something happen? Some Danes robbed the graves in the cemetery. If, if I don't find the body soon, city council will find out. But, but I have no idea where to start. I'll be fired, I know it. And it's the only job I'm fit for. That's what my mama said. I can help you. I'm quite experienced at finding people alive, usually. Oh, thank the angels, kind sir. I'll, I'll repay you, I will. You'll find the three robbed graves in the cemetery. I marked them. And you don't need to muck up your suit lugging bodies round, sir. I can do that. Just find all three and tell me where they are. Please. These bites are fresh. Ah, poor guy. His death wasn't fast.
Ugh, what a stench. held this poker has got to be covered in slime. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh, and stinks. Ugh, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? What the angles is going on? Where... where am I? Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some group who had to deal with the crematorium worker. So, Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped.
something you Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> You're James Warren, right? Hey, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? A week ago, a group of people brought an unconscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. What makes you think I'd know that? You got hurt that day. That's why you're in the hospital. The man you were supposed to burn knocked you out and escaped. Horse feathers. I hit my head. Fell down the stairs. You were supposed to cremate a man listed as Jack White. He escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me, who paid you to burn a man alive? How do you know about White? I talked to him. I need names, Warren. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. I'm toast. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. Please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but they ain't from St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? That's all I know, I swear. Where can I find this church? I don't know. Some things in this borg are best left alone. It's not much, but thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. Bye. What do you want? Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir.
Hey, hey you. No loitering. Only workers are permitted on the premises. I could use some supplies. If you can spare them, that is. Here. Take some medicine. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Get a move on, then. You're handing out supplies for free. That seems awful charitable. Mr. Carpenter is a pillar of our community. Generously donating half of our supplies to the people of Oakmont in their time of need. Bye. Ah, please, friends, don't take away my food. Your food? This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. M me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. I look, we'll starve to death without it. Have a heart. I don't get it. You can have food for free. The carpenters are distributing it. So why steal? They'd only give me one portion. Even though I told them that my wife and kids are too weak to get here. Sorry, but stealing's off limits. I'm returning this sack. Ah, uh, have mercy, sir. Please don't. Them's the rules, buddy. You stay here. I pray that Kay grants me one more day. Easy peasy. Great. Here's your pay. There was one minor issue, though. What? What issue? The sack was borrowed by one of your workers, but I tracked him down and got it back. You did good. But what are we gonna do about the thief? 
I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no, sorry. Ah, well move on then. Bye. This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle. Huh. Now, weren't you the one who called Robert an ape lover, Brutus? Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. How can I help? One of your workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. Is... Is there a way to solve this peacefully? The guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine, too. <laughs> can you give him this? It, it's not much, but it'll help. Uh, no offense, but why such generosity all of a sudden? I mean, this distribution of supplies. I hope to set an example for the other influential families of Oakmont. Together we can make our city a better place. Besides, after the incident with the poisoned fish, people were left with nothing to eat. I had to take action to prevent starvation. Thank you. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, uh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime and needs more rest. Mask? Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it, if you don't mind. 
Goodbye. Yeah, you don't get these for staying in your foxhole. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Hmm. I've seen this face before. You don't get these for staying in your foxhole. Something wrong. Don't you have work to do? Again. Hey, you can relax. Everything's been taken care of. The sack is yours. Oh, bless you, sir. My little ones will eat today because of you. Look, I talked to Carpenter about your situation. He said to come by whenever you've a need. He'll do right by your family. Really? I, I didn't know Mr. Carpenter was so generous. That family sure has changed. Thank you again, friend. You said the Carpenters have changed. What were they like before? Uh, well... Hey, you can shoot straight with me. It's all right. We'll keep it between us. Worse. A lot worse. Criminals and murderers. Rumors are their boss, Brutus, defiled several women and got away scot-free. Oh, terrible. People called them a grand family. Their word is law in Oakmont, along with the Throgmortons and Blackwoods. Tread carefully with them. Hey, listen. I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Okay. What is it? Carpenter wanted me to give you this. Kay bless him and his generosity. Please, send him my thanks. I pray that Kay grants me one more day. Don't you have work to do?
Paris, December 1918, right after the guns stopped firing. Don't you have work to do? 